Gaza as we know it today was built at the hands of craftsmen and artisans with the knowledge that was passed down through hundreds of generations. This is the story of a new generation of craftswomen in the city of Obdanan in Elam, a land that has been the nursing ground to nameless but gifted artisans, people who make strip-woven flat weaves, mats and baskets, and all sorts of handicraft using only what this land provides. Shahrasan Obdanan, because of the closeness of the Khuzestan, و مرکزیت شوش که سالیان سال پای تخت ایران باستان از عهد دوره کاسیدها، ایلامی ها و هخامنشیان بوده همیشه تحت تأثیر هنری این حوزه قرار داشت به همین خاطر تأثیر حوزه صنایع دستی شهرستان آبدانان در خصوص حسیر متعلق به تأثیر فرهنگی حوزه خوزستان هست Considering the climate of this mountainous region since days of old, the people of Elam have led a nomadic lifestyle sustained by shepherding, and this fact has greatly influenced their handicraft, from their materials to their bold and vibrant colors. Just like you saw, all of these colorful items were made using such creamy brown strands. Palm weaving isn't something new, and weavers have been using palm leaves to create all sorts of handicraft, from mats and baskets to bags, not just in Iran, but all over the world. But what makes the Abdanan weaving style so different and unique, in addition to the artist's creativity, of course, is the colorful strings used to decorate and bind them. Seeing ordinary people learning new skills, trying to save an ancient art form from disappearing is a joyful celebration of all things handmade. Another handicraft that's made using similar materials is cheat. All you need to make cheat is thin stalks of reed, colorful strings and stones which are used to weigh the strings down and hold them in place. در زمان های قدیم اشایرا می اومدن دور سیاه چادر این استفاده می کردن که حفاظ باشه هم برای گوسفند و هم برای حفاظ چادر خودشون و قسمت مهمان پذیر و اینا استفاده می کردن. Since nomads use them in their black tents, it's only natural to assume that they're as old as the nomadic lifestyle. These days, however, they found new applications and serve as decorative floor coverings and wall hangings. A type of Persian carpet you may come across is this one that's called jajim. Jajims are double-sided woven mats that don't have any knots. That's why they're softer and thinner than other knotted Persian carpets. They're rarely used as floor covering these days and are merely decorative. The interesting thing about the colorful designs of all these handicraft is that they are all abstract, the same patterns and designs used from ancient times. چون مردم اینجا زندگی در دامن طبیعت داشتن همیشه یک اوهامی از عناصر طبیعت در ذهن داشتن یعنی نقش هایی که به کار می بردن نقش های انتظایی بود اگر شما نقش درختی رو می بینید در واقع درخت نیست یک نوع انتظا از درخته و معمولا اعتقادات خودشون رو درگیر همین تصورات ذهنی میکردن مثلا اگر شما یه درخت هفت طبقه رو میدیدید تحت تاثیر اعتقادات مردم اینجا که اعتقاد داشتن زمین و آسمان هفت طبقه است یا زیر زمین هفت طبقه است in every craft, the craftsperson will always try to excel in what they do. 
Sadly, many in today's modern world have forgotten just how much meticulous work and raw talent it takes to create even the most basic handcrafted item. This is Gulnapanudi for Iran. This is the house of a national hero, a freedom fighter who gave up his life to save the people of his country. The historical house of Mirza Kutak Khan, located in the city of Rash, the capital of the Gilan province, has recently turned into an interesting museum. Mirza Kutak Khan's movement, known as the Jangal movement, took shape in the aftermath of the constitutional revolution about the year 1914, due to the period of political decay in the country. We all have dreams and hopes in life, dreams that create our future. Now, some of those dreams are small and reachable, and some are big and beyond time and space. Mirza Kutakhan Jangali had a big dream in his heart. He wanted to create a utopia, a society devoid of poverty, cruelty, oppression, and corruption. سال 80 تا 1384 این مکان توسط مهندسین حاضر و کارشناسان فرهنگی مورد مرمت و بازسازی قرار گرفت. هر ساله این مکان مورد بازدید حداقل 20 تا 30 هزار گردشگر داخلی و خارجی هستش. همچنین علاوه بر این در این مکان ما مناسبت های فرهنگی بسیار زیادی رو شاهدش هستیم که در این مکان برگزار میشه و همچنین مراسمات مختلفی برای خود میرزا کوچکخان جنگلی میرزا کوچکخان wanted to establish a democratic republic based on islamic teachings The jungle movement was at the time of World War I when the Iranian people were dealing with social turmoil political unrest famine, poverty, and many other social and political problems. The jungle movement defeated central government forces in numerous encounters, even though the government was supported by the colonial powers, who were only seeking their own interests. Mirza Kutak Khan and his people had to confront numerous enemies and not just Reza Shah's forces, the British, the Russians, the landlords, who are known as Khans and also their spies. Mirza Kuche Khan was a man who had a lot of work done. Most of the roads in the Shemal, in the city of Rasht, from the Gulf to the Gulf, from the Gulf to the Gulf, from the Gulf to the Mirza and the Jangali, in Tehran, at the time of Ahmed Shah, Mirza went to Tehran to Brinj and the Gulf of 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 the Gulf. و جنگ تبریز یعنی هر جایی که ایرانی ها در اونجا بهشون سخت میگذشت میرزا شرکت داشته هر جا آزادی خواه بوده متوجه شدن که یک مرکزی به نام رشت در ایران هستش که مرکز آزادی خواهی و آزادی دوستی و سبک جدید زندگی هستش و برای اینکه حمایت کنن به این نهزت پیوستن یعنی دقیقا نهزت جنگل خواست اون دوران مردم ایران بوده که تبلورش در شهر رشت بوده تبکرات آزادی خواهی و تندوستی و سبک جدید زندگی به رهبری میرزا کوچک جنگلی In this museum you get to see photos related to Mirza Kuchak Khan's movement, his brave companions and also his personal notes and documents. Sad to say Mirza and his Russian German companion were left alone in the Khalkhal mountains and died of frostbite. His body was decapitated and his head was displayed in Rasht, all to show how the government would react to revolutionary ideas.
One of the interesting features about Mirza Kuchak Khan's movement was the fact that his closest friends and the people in his army were from different regions of Iran, the Kurds, the Lors, and the Turks, creating a sense of unity among the people of Iran. And that was all the movement was all about, unity. Hi, I am Anne-Marie and I am from Switzerland. I arrived here in Gillen in Rasht one hour ago and my friends took me to this house and I can see this house, this museum and it's very interesting. I heard about this man and he's like uh, Robin Hood and he is uh, very fascinating. He did a lot of good things, I heard, for the people, for Gilan, and it's really nice to be here. Mirza Kuchak Khan's tomb is located in the south of the city, a simple yet elegant structure inspired by traditional Persian architecture. A national hero who will always be remembered for his bravery and sacrifice. Hodan for Iran.